Hey YouTube, it's me, C Mesa, uh, 089. We're here with my first Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. So uh, give me some slack just in case I mess up. Uh, today's deck I'll be showing you is my uh, Warrior Synchro deck. Um, basically, my own Warrior Synchro deck is not not following any specific, any you know, you know, any deep strategy. Just warriors and synchroing. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, first deck, first card. Um, we have his uh, Suzuki Samurai. I just like his effect and his ability to uh, attack face down, you know, destroy face down cards. Uh, second card, um, Fortress Warrior. Uh, really good staller card. Uh, next card, Matazza Zappa. Um, basically, he can attack twice and he uh, can't change uh, control. So, really good against people who use uh, mind control and then try to exceed or sink. Then uh, next up we got two Marauding Captains, just like his ability, plus if I have two in my hand I can just summon them to the field, good staller. Um, yeah. Next uh, we have two X Sabers, Knight. Um, I like their effects and I like the fact that they're tuners. Um, I use them to sync, to sync a lot. Uh, next up we have um, two Junk Synchrons. Um, I use the Junk Synchrons to, you know, pull out all my junk synchros um, and I also like their ability to bring out my fortress uh, warrior and my Suzuki samurai just in case you know I ever run into some trouble and need some help with them um, I have a defender in here just like his uh, defense a good staller card uh, and I have a goblin uh, his effect is basically the same as a uh, Modern Captain, except he's a four star, and later on when I trade for, hopefully when I get a Utopia, I'll be using him to exceed a lot. I have um, Ninja Grandmaster Suzuki, uh, kind of the same effect as uh, Suzuki, uh, Sasuke Samurai, but um, they have to be face up in defense mode. Um, another uh, another monster I have here is uh, my Max Warrior. Good attack, uh, his effect gets increased by 400, um, and at, after he attacks a monster, he becomes a 2 star, so I can uh, synchro summon to bring out my 5 star sinks just in case I have any. Um, then uh, I like the classical DD Warrior Lady, you know, just in case I'm really losing in a duel and have a really good synchro monster out, I can always set her in defense mode and then uh, remove the monster from play. Um, Command Knight, she really goes well with this deck because I have um, two solidarities as I'll show you in my uh, when I get to my magics. And um, you know, just and she's a good defense. She has 19 defense, uh, and I just like using her when it, whenever I have um, both of my uh, solidarities on the field. Blade Knight, um, good effect. I like his effect. I really, really love his effect actually. Um, if there's one card in your hand, just in case you don't know, if there's one card in your hand, um, his attack becomes 2,000, he gains 400, and uh, the effect of flip effect monsters are negated. Don Zolo, um, I'm actually considering him taking him out for, um, I can't remember what the war here, you just remove him from play, they get his attack, but I actually like his effect because um, just in case I'm fighting any fairies maybe and they have Hyperion or um, Chrissy, uh, I can discard them from their hand hopefully, get the chance to discard them. Or I can take all the top two cards from the deck which is also pretty nice also. Um, this is actually one of my favorite favorite um, tribute cards, one of, one of the very I only have three tribute cards, and um, he's one of them. And I really like his effect. When I uh, tribute summon him, I can go to my graveyard to um, pick out a tuner monster. So sometimes when I do, I have a tuner monster on the field and just sacrifice that tuner monster and just bring him right back out just so I can use the synchro summon them. Um, yeah. Um, Turret Warrior. Uh, I, love, I really like his effect and the ability I get to special summon him. Just in case I ever have Colossal Fighter out, I, I like to special summon them using Colossal Fighter sometimes. But, um, yeah. Um, 
Here's a really another card I really like in this deck, actually. Um, I'm hoping to find a 9-star. If there is a 9-star warrior, hopefully you find him soon. But I just like his effect, and when I have two solidarities on the field, he becomes really helpful. And even one solidarity on the field becomes really helpful. Um, just in case you don't know his effect, I get to special summon him if my opponent has two or more monsters. So yeah, it's a really good card. Um, so now we're moving on to the magic. And my first magic card, Instant Fusion. Um, I fill out legendary, legendary, uh, not legend, um, I like to pull out, I like to, uh -huh, here they are. I like to pull out one out of three, um, fusion monsters. Um, Elemental Hero, uh, Marine, really good. Um, Guilty of the Night, and also Lend uh, Flame Swordsman, uh, really good. Sometimes if I have this uh, Instant Fusion in my hand and Turret Warrior, just uh, Special Summon any of my uh, monsters, most likely Flame Swordsman, and then um, Tribute him so I gain the attack. Also, um, I really like my Guilty of the Night because hopefully I'm looking for a Black Luster. Uh, looking for a Black Luster, and this is going to be another light card added in my graveyard. Um, of course, MST. Dark Hole. Monster Reborn. Heavy Storm. Reinforcements of the Army, something I think every Warrior deck should really have. Um, two solidarities and two warrior returning alive. Now for my trap cards, I have uh, magic cylinders, windstorm, call the haunted, magic drain because I don't really like this. I don't really like the fact that magic jammer. You have to discard a you have to discard a card of your own. I'd rather have my opponent discard a magic card or have my opponent discard anything. And they have to discard a magic card. So let's say they have a magic card in their hand they really don't want to throw away, then that magic card they activated, you know, they're like, Alright, forget about it. Uh seven tools of the bandit. Uh Dark Bride. And a mirror force. And two bottomless. To bottomless and a torrential tribute. Um, now moving on to my synchros. Um, I have the junk warrior. You know every because my two junk synchrons. X Saber Wayne really good for a warrior deck. Gets a special basically the same effect as marauding captain and my goblin. Um, but they have to be a warrior type. Um, Gaia, good beat stick, really good beat stick, six star synchro. I really like him a lot. Junk Gardner, um, really good staller, 26 defense. I like using his effect. I haven't really used him much in a duel, but when I do bring him out, I do bring him out in situations where I happen to be losing. Um, yeah. Uh, Junk Berserker, don't, also really don't really use him, but like the fact that I even have him. Um, good effect. Um, I wish, I'm probably going to start using him more because I really do like his effect. Um, X Saber Urbellum. Uh, I don't really use Urbellum, but um, when I have a Solidarity on the field and when I have, can make a seven star, he's a really seven. He's a seven star I can use sometimes just in case. I don't have my Lightning Warrior, which is my favorite Warrior Synchro. I really like his effect. Sweet effect. Uh, just got him the other day, actually. Uh, next card we have up is a Colossal Fighter, really good warrior, uh, love his effect, it goes well with Command Knight and my Solidarity, and finally Junk Warrior, I mean Junk Destroyer, sorry, my apologies, Junk Destroyer, I like his effect too, so um, that's it for my deck guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, um, leave me some, you know, any comments, you know, advice, uh, I truly appreciate it. Thank you and goodbye.